cover the tush, cover, cover the crotch. Cover the tush, you know, crotch. because of a certain age, it's not attractive <laughs> to go out with. With yes, that, that. Yeah. Yeah. That's showing, good. and these are great. I love and these t-shirts because oh, they have that little so bit great. of gathering That's on nice. the sides, and you really can good. pull them down. Hi, I'm Lisa Keating, and I'm here today in Pasadena. It's January. It's 82 degrees outside. It's lovely, and we're at the Fresh Produce Boutique, and I've got two really wonderful guests. The first one is Miss E. G. Daly. You might know her voice from Rugrats or The Voice, or you might remember a movie called Valley Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know? Uh, of course. And our next guest after that is going to talk to us about the color of the year, which we will reveal to you in just a little bit. So please help me welcome E.G. Daly. Hey. Hey. hey girl, Wait a minute. You. Thank you. We don't have an audience yeah. now. <laughs> we need some canned applause. Mm -hmm. and welcome, yeah, welcome. Thanks. So um, you're a mom. I'm a mother of two teenagers, so I get it <laughs> for those who have teenage daughters. We were talking last year with Deepak Chopra, right. and he was telling us that the mom is the most important member of the family. I was yeah. so, you know, relieved and happy that he yeah. said that, but really, you know, I haven't heard that before. Right. Maybe you felt that. Definitely. I mean, and it's funny, like I was saying, I was sharing with you just before this that I went to the museum with my daughter, and there was a certain tribe, or uh, I think it's called the Lubi, Lubi or Lubia or whatever, and they talk about how the woman obviously can carry a child, so she's very powerful in that respect, but that she's strong enough to actually contain the spirit of the chiefs or the kings because, she, you know, women are so powerful. And it's nice when, it's nice to hear that, that, you know, it's nice to hear that people actually acknowledge that because I think women are so incredible. We are only as good as we allow ourselves to be, right? Exactly. We need to be supported, too. Yeah. It's not just sheer strength yeah. of, of will. But that's what's, that's what's so funny about the fact that um, a lot of the times mothers aren't, you know, in my opinion, is mothers do and do and do and do and they're like walking coat checks for the babies and they carry everything and, and a lot of times that's what makes them even more powerful is they do it with, whether they're being acknowledged or not, they keep doing oh, it. Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I remember hearing years ago that the reason um, the women end up carrying everything, you know, from the wadded up Kleenex to the kids, you Sweaters know, all their stuff, bags. you know, like you said. Coat checks, walking yeah. coat check moms. Um, it's because we have a womb. And we have this space that, that we're holding for everything. Yeah. So I thought that was kind of an interesting it's, it's beautiful, and it's true. I saw you on The Voice, and there was a moment that just, like, captured my attention. And it wasn't when you were singing, although your singing was fabulous. Mm -hmm. um, it was when you said, I'm here for this voice. Yeah. And I wanted to explore I like what you meant by <laughs> that. Because I think I know, but I'd like to hear what um, you say. Well, I like to say it's my inner voice and my voice. You know, I've been acknowledged for being the actress, and I do many different voices. I've been acknowledged for doing voiceover work, many cartoons, Tommy Pickles, Rugrats, Tommy many, Pickle. many, many. Who's that? Rugrats? Tommy Pickles what? on there. Yeah. <laughs> they were gonna do it, baby. It's gonna do. Um, <laughs> you know, I think at this age, you know, I just turned 52, but when I actually filmed The Voice, it was 51. But being at that age and being able to do this thing that I've always done with so much, I mean, it's just such a love thing for me. Singing is such a powerful thing for, for just to listen to music is powerful, let alone to be able to sing is, it feels really like a gift, you know, for me. It to is be able a gift. To, no, it is a gift. Yeah, so for me, being on The Voice and being able to be acknowledged for finally the singing voice, but also the woman and the person that I've become in my 52 years of age of the woman that's dealt with raising children and divorce and beautiful things and tough things and wonderful things and powerful things and profound things. It was getting to be that voice, that person who got to stand up there and be a whole person with all the years of wisdom and all the years of peace that I've acquired because of the lessons I've learned. When I write a song, it's just so, um, it's motivated always from my life stuff. All my stuff is very um, autobiographical, like the music is always telling whatever's going on for me at the time. So it's so nice to be able to put it into an art form. What's going on? How I'm feeling? Yeah. And, you know, I think that music is very healing. I think that everything yeah. is vibration, yeah. you know, and that's like the, your yeah. first vibration. It's your yeah. connection to your kids. Your emotions. And, you know, it's the first sense that we have, yeah. that we develop as incredible. our hearing in the womb. Yeah. And the last one to go when we pass. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. So, And I want to back up a little bit also and tell you that I had no idea that you were the age that you are. Oh. Um, yeah. When I saw your little clip on The Voice, I thought, oh, she's like 35. Or wow, something. thank you. Yeah. That's really nice to hear. 
Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. yeah, I'm really proud of my age, and I'm, I, you know, I personally went through the periods of time where I used to, you know, obviously because of Hollywood, you weren't allowed to be in your 40s when you're trying to book 35 year old roles, but I really embrace it today, and I feel like it's such an important thing for other women to know that. You know, if you continue to take care of yourself as best as you can. I mean, everybody's got different levels of way they, the way they can take care of themselves. All of it counts. All of it matters. You know, excessive drinking or partying or drugs it wears shows. you out and ages you. Excessive yeah. weight ages you. Excessive, all these things. So if you can take care of it, even just a little bit for your, for each person's what's relative to each person, I think it makes a big difference. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It does. Now, more and more, we have permission yeah. to be the age that we are yeah. because I think people are younger longer and I think they're more accepting yeah. of the okay yeah. of life that we each represent. Yeah. You know, we're yeah. not just one thing. Gosh, no, not at all. It's important to try to learn to be okay with it because it's, you know, anytime you're just white lying things just a little bit, you're altering fate, you know, you're altering your fate. So I think it's important to say, you know what, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna be who I am because whatever I am is gonna manifest what I'm supposed to get. But if you're constantly pretending to be something you're not, I think you're altering your journey, you know, a little. You're you're still gonna go where you're gonna go, you're just postponing it. So I think just allow your fate to be your fate because of everything that's authentic about you, you know. That, did we get, I hope we got that really. <laughs> so I think that's just such a great thing for people to hear. Yeah. That's funny, yeah. yeah. Will you hang around and can we see you yes. in the color I, of the I year? I would love to wear the color of the year. Because I like the message. There's a little, I have a little message from the color of the year. Okay, I want to hear so that. I'll share that. That's so cool. I'll share, I yes, I would love that. Okay, here we go. Yay. The color of the year. Radiant orchid. A captivating harmony of fuchsia, purple, and pink undertones. Radiant orchid emanates great joy, love, and health. I'm all for that color. Isn't that yeah. awesome? Joy, health, and love. I want to bathe in it. And Pantone did not pay us to say this. Oh, that's <laughs> I love that. Joy, health, and love. So let's go put some of that on. I'm down. Let's okay, do okay. I'd like to introduce you to Lori Ann Robinson. She's our next guest. I'd like you to help me welcome her to the show. She is an Emmy Award nominated costume designer. She's done lots and lots in the television arena and now she is available as a consultant for your wardrobe and your image and I love that. And so please help me welcome Lori Ann Robinson. Thank you very much, Lisa. Thank I am you. thrilled to be here today. Thanks for being yes, thank here. you. So we've just revealed the color of the year. Yes, Radiant Orchid. Isn't that so, such an exotic, beautiful name? It is, it is. So um, I just want to ask you, first of all, if you have had, um, if you've seen the influence of the color of the year in, pa in the past. Like, have you had to work with that? Um, yes, I have. You know, last year when it came around, Emerald was yes, the color Emerald. of the year. And it translates all through the different industries. Not only the beauty industry, but it will go into the interior industry. And you'll see it in how housewares in and Logo designs, you know, logos, maybe. you'll see it in bedding, you'll see it all over. Okay. And so now with the spring 2014, it was very prevalent in fashion. And now we're going to start seeing it again, filtering into those other areas. And when we, when we say that it's the color of the year, I mean, this is kind of a springy hue, wouldn't you say? Hue, is that the right word? I don't yes, know. hue, color okay. is the same. Um, uh, was, will we see it through the whole year? Like, yes. Will we be wearing this in the winter, maybe? It'll be a bit of a darker Version. hue, yes. Okay. You know, so it'd be a darker shade. So we're gonna go anywhere from a bit of a lighter toned to a darker shade. So okay. it, it will translate all the way through, through the, the year. year. And do you think we'll see it on the red carpet? I, I do believe we're going to be seeing it on the red carpet. And I think as we're going into the Oscars, we're going to be seeing it even more because those gowns are, I think they're just holding back on those gowns. We're ready to just make them pop. And I think that uh, it lends itself to some shimmer, doesn't it? Shimmer, yes, yeah. definitely shimmer. And another thing, the color looks really rich mixed with other colors. Because sometimes doing head to toe might be a little bit intense for some people to do head to toe in I, an that orchid. That would not be good for me. I think I would look like, you know that crazy lady that looks like cotton candy? Right. You know, you're so a little, <laughs> you know, some people are a little put off by 
that tonality of that purple tone. So you can mix it with, I'm gonna show a couple of oh, do, do. options here okay. that are, are really quite pretty. Taupe is a great oh. color to mix it with. It's very sophisticated when you start mixing in an orchid with a taupe. You can mix it in with gray. It looks really, pull really, out my little yes, put, pull out your, orchid. yes, pull it out. It looks really rich with gray. Nice. And you can then also mix it with some aquas and greens, you know, going into the spring. That's nice, going to be really nice, pretty. Yeah. And one of my favorites, when you mix it with black, it gets a little harsh. I really like to mix it up with a navy blue. It softens it a bit, and it's I not like quite that. as harsh, but it's, it's very fresh. And along with white, you I, know, it's always going to be I, a great mix. I really like navy blue, especially um, as a tr transition between... Perfect transition yeah. color. And in navy blue was very, very uh, prevalent this past fall. And I think going through into spring, it's always a spring color. We're going to see a lot of it. So this is the time to pick up the navy blue. Nice. And the radiant orchid is a creative color. Yes, it says right here. Yes, very creative. And it's a warm color because there's beguiling also beguiling also and beguiling, <laughs> charming, and it also there's a you know a almost an equal amount of warmth and cool, you know red yes, and blue yes, in it. Yes, yes. So it can be really good on many many skin tones depending on what actual shade you are wearing. So Lori, what do you mean when you say um, equal amounts cool and warm? Well, when you're a kid and you're mixing colors, yes, remember we used yes. to do that and you'd take red and blue and, and yeah. make purple. Yeah. So if you're mixing a little bit more red in with the blue, you're going to end up with a warmer purple. So you're going to a warmer orchid. Okay. And if you're mixing a little bit more blue, you're going to get a cooler purple. So therefore, the orchid it's all in the same realm, but you can have a little bit more of a warmer feel to it and a little bit more of a cooler feel. Okay, so I want to ask you this. Are you a believer in this um, concept of we are color seasons? Yes, I do believe we are color seasons. There are crossovers too, and that takes a professional to help you discern that. Okay, so, but, so uh, I have a couple of questions about that. Um, is or Can orchid go through all four seasons, and does your season change over your lifetime? How your season will change is how dramatic the color will be because your skin and um, your hair will change a bit and you might not be able to wear that intensity of color. Say if you were a winter, which usually can wear you know, the really intense jewel tones. Sometimes when we get older, you know, really dark, dark colors are not so great on us anymore. It can be a little bit draining. So you're going to have to go to the softer side okay. of those colors. Because, you know, there's a wide range of colors a winter person can wear. But you might not be able to wear the, the scope at the end where it's going to be the okay. hot colors. Like don't dye your hair black anymore. Exactly. Yeah. It's a little too harsh against yeah. your very pale skin. Yeah. You might need to lighten it up okay. a bit. You know, and same goes with uh, all of the color seasons. You know, usually you find some type of a purple hue in each all season. Seasons. Okay. And again, it goes with how much red or how much blue is in that color. Okay. And whether or not you can wear it. What about metallics like our jewelry? Silver, gold, either? Well, gold? warm people should be wearing gold. Okay. And cool people should be wearing silver. For okay. best, okay. that's best. Case. And now, and when I say silver, that means you still can wear pewter, antique silver, and all different uh, platinum. metals, platinum, <laughs> all different metals, as long as it's in the silver family. And same goes with uh, the warm tones for with gold. You can wear copper too, okay. rose gold, anything that's in that gold family. Okay, and can both metals work well with the radiant orchid? Do you think? I think both metals look really quite lovely with the radiant orchid okay you know i think and i think even if you mix the metals together if you were something with gold and silver mixed would look really quite stunning with it i and oh, i nice. but i really 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 like our different colored stones with it 
for instance, turquoise, maybe, you know? Yeah. Really pop it with turquoise or green, you know, maybe an agate or anything. And I like what you're wearing. Is and that, so you that could looks just pop, like radiant orchid in there. Radiant orchid is right in there. So you can pop it with different different metals, different stones. I think it's it's a fresher look and you can have some fun with that. Okay, so could, let's have some fun. Yeah, let's, let's do. Let's, um, would you put some clothes on EG? Yes. And something on me to show me how to wear, how to wear this color. How you can update, and it's and it's very easy because with just we, a few pieces. We want people to be able to integrate it into their into their wardrobe, mm -hmm. right, without having to redo their whole wardrobe. Exactly, you don't need to break the bank. You can okay. just add a few pieces in to be current. Okay, show us how. Okay, okay, yay! Okay, so my 12-year-old cannot do that. that. I'm like, you, you have to, like, if, if it doesn't look right, you, you know, you can't go out of the house. Right, which means <laughs> this, this shirt, translation. therefore, translation, we need to cover the tush, cover, cover the crotch. There cover the tush You know, crotch. because of a certain age, it's not attractive <laughs> to go out with with Pants that, that. Yeah. Yeah. That's showing, good. and these are great. I love I these t-shirts because oh, they have that little so bit of great. gathering That's on nice. the sides, and you really can good. pull them it's down. Great. And they're, you know, it's really, and it's very flattering. Super great shirt, isn't it great? And it does that little nice okay, but she's dip. She's a great figure. Here's a tip for you, small gals out there. Small gals. Often these sleeves are way, 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 way too long. So here is a workaround. Whenever you have a sleeve, especially on a casual jacket or even a sweater, is roll it so it's like a three quarter. So you have some okay. wrist showing because it will instantly make your leg look longer. That is longer. so interesting. Because really? as soon as you do this and have this long, you know, and, and girls all like to have these long yeah, sleeves, right. it just makes you look short and squatty. Wow. And so if you do this, I do that naturally because I get hot. Right, oh. and a lot like of women have, do do that. I don't like to have, um, never have. I know. I think it, that's really interesting. So your legs look longer because you're three-quartering mm -hmm. your arms, so you're getting more. Mm -hmm. It's just an illusion. It's, it's just right. all an, I like eye, an eye illusion. So you just instantly do that. Or instantly, if you have a um, any type of a sweater on, put just it up. push, That's pull a it really up. good tip. And a lot of the sweaters nowadays, for instance, like this one, are three already quarter. a three-quarter mm -hmm. or what you also refer to as a bracelet sleeve. Mm -hmm. So you can show uh, off a bracelet. Right. Okay. And it's very flattering because most women, if you're carrying a few extra pounds too, this is a very thin area for most women. Right. So big so, girls can do this too. Yes. And yeah, because this, once it hits here, then it goes... Then it can, this can always not be so attractive for a lot of <laughs> gaps. This is not so, okay. But this uh -huh. is always a thin part, so, so you can look thinner. Uh, I'm That's not wearing good. any orchid. Help We're out. going to get you into some orchid. How about a nice, great little orchid jacket? Let's put an orchid okay. jacket on you. Ooh. What do we have? Let's see. Oh, I know what we can do. You want to try the card again? Oh. Sure. This is so pretty. This is a great heavy knit cotton, mm. though, cardigan. Okay, let me just... Rearrange this is a great sweater. It's this so is a yummy. great sweater. Okay. Beautiful color. Okay. Now this goes into our darker hue of what the we radiant orchid about. that has more Excuse red me. in it. Okay. And we were talking about our hues, and this is a bit That's more beautiful. on the red side. With the red, yeah. Mm, I love it with the white. Yeah. And it looks very mm -hmm. fresh with the oh, white. Look, there mm -hmm. she goes for my sleeves. Yeah, going there in. I'm going right in <laughs> for the sleeve. We're going in, we're rolling them up. Going mm -hmm. in for the sleeve. And I love to, yeah, just to roll back the do sleeve. Do I need a bigger one? Let's see. Right. So you just do the top button. Is that the I like there? the top button done. You know, it just keeps it closed and uh, you don't have to do all of the buttons. And it just keeps, you know, the, the sweater you like the put line together. That that I, just, mm -hmm. I like the way the line is. Nice. Sometimes, depending on the neckline, and it just keeps the neckline, you know, put together because sometimes those necklines will flop around so you just want to make sure you stabilize that neckline sometimes with cardigans too if it's a very stable neckline you can also just do that center button depending and that's nice too yeah I like that yeah you so can just have a necklace center, on or a and just give yourself a little bit of a waist mm -hmm. you know and just give yourself 
and pull it in there. That's a nice color for you, by the way. Like yeah. Why, thank a, you. This is a very, very pretty color. Yeah. And again, it's got a little bit of the red in it, so it's more of the, on the warm mm -hmm. versus the lighter. You know, that is a, is a much uh, cooler purple, and so mm -hmm. is this. Mm. You know, but still we're all within the same family mm -hmm. of that orchid. Now, what about you? Would you add a little orchid to what you're wearing? Well, Beyond I've got the little bit of orchid with my necklace. Mm -hmm. And if I would also add a scarf, you know, uh, you know, I could really probably work back a scarf in to this. And oh. again, I've got the radiant orchid mm -hmm. in the scarf. I love that. That's a great way to pull an outfit together. If you don't have the exact color in your wardrobe and you want to just buy a few accessories. Right. Tie it up with a scarf. Tie it up with a scarf. Mm -hmm. So a scarf, Easy. Right. a shirt, scarf, a cardigan, shirt, cardigan We're jewelry. transformed. Easy. We, we are radiant orchids. Yes. It's it's easy. Here we go. <laughs> it's beautiful. Thanks, mm -hmm. you guys. Yeah. Do you want to do anything else? Do you want to do another outfit? Or are you put another good? outfit on her? Sure. Yeah, let me do outfit. it. This is a great outfit. Go oh, I love it. Okay, I'm doing that, that right now. Ooh. Pop that one on. Okay, we've got the two orchid ladies all together with <laughs> scarves and how fun that is. <laughs> you don't need to just, you know, keep it all solid. Mm. Mix it up with some mm. color, add some other color in. You're adding a lot of these blues. Mm -hmm. I love turquoise mixed mm -hmm. with purple. Right. It was very popular in the late 70s mm -hmm. and then it translated on into the 80s. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was one of the color combinations. Mm. Purple and green mixed together. Yves Saint Laurent oh, yeah, did yeah, it. Yeah. Donna Karen did mm. it. It was really very, very much um, the combination. And so right. it, I think it's it's beautiful. And I like yeah. you know now that we're going with more into the orchid mixed with turquoise. So there's different variations of it. Yeah, and I like the way we look together. Right, yes. we're going you know, out for Tina. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we look great, don't we? And and we're, we're variations on a theme, not just mm -hmm. the color, but you know. It's very beachy and fresh. Well, it's very beachy and fresh in here. Casual, you know but put together. Yeah. You know, right. so it's put not together. just sweats. Yeah. It's put together. It's put together. You yeah. can run around in it and feel like you're still dressed. It's really nice. But you're not just running around in sweats or just jeans and a t-shirt. And it just feels so much better to have it all put together. It just You know, you the just feel scarf good. really does that for me. Yeah. It makes me feel like, yeah. oh, I'm dressed. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It does. Well, thank you both Can so I take you home with me? <laughs> ah, that's my question to you. Okay. <laughs> you know, sure, go ahead. Right? <laughs> for hire. Sorry, I had to ask. <laughs> thank you guys so much. Thanks for having you me. It was great uh -huh. meeting you. I enjoyed thank having you. Thank you, Lisa, morning. very much. Oh. <laughs> thank you. You're fabulous. Okay. You're, really great. You're great at what you do. Thank it's you. We'll see you next time. That's it for me today. I'm Lisa Keating with Encino Mom TV. Bye. I would like to introduce you to Emmy Award, it's so hard not to say Emmy Award winning. Why didn't you win? Fine. Why didn't you win? You know, because I was blocked. <laughs> and you want me to tell you that story? But Hugh. So let me ask you a question. Are you, um, are you? Sure. Oh, I was on a roll. Oh, me too, and I, I was on a right roll. There. Dude. <laughs>